Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Osiris, Broken God of the Afterlife. In Smite, Osiris cuts through his opponents with his sickle as a warrior. Never has there been, nor shall there be, a king more perfect than Osiris. Son of the Earth God Jeb, Osiris was divine royalty by birth, and all the land his birthright. Benevolence and prosperity were the hallmarks of his reign. Would that he had been left to shape the world. But the jealousy of his brother Set changed the course of fate. Seeking to usurp the throne, Set deceived and murdered his brother, tearing his body to pieces and casting them across the land. Isis, Osiris's wife, secretly fled, while Set plunged the kingdom into darkness. For years, she toiled to reassemble her husband while his spirit form, his Ba, endured. Yet for all her searching, she could not find every part of him. Though not strong enough to defy Set in this incomplete form, Osiris gave Isis a son that would topple the tyrant Set and restore balance to Egypt. What remains of Osiris is a fragment of what he once was. Robbed of his crown over the earth, he now governs the realm of the dead with the same benevolence he ruled the living. Osiris's passive is called Fragmented. After eight uses of an ability, Osiris transforms into his spirit form. He may walk through all enemies and enemy blocking abilities, and his basic attacks do not incur a movement penalty. This effect is broken after several successful basic attacks. Additionally, Osiris has a four hit basic attack combo, the last two hits dealing area damage. His first ability is called Sickle Strike. Osiris throws his sickle, dealing damage and stopping at the first enemy hit. The enemy is also slowed. His second ability is called Spirit Flail. Osiris imbues his flail with spiritual energy, striking at the target location. If an enemy is under the effect of Sickle Strike, the target's slow is increased in power and duration. Osiris' third ability is called Judgment Tether. Osiris flings out mummy wraps, tethering himself to all nearby enemies. Enemies deal reduced damage while tethered and at the end of the duration are stunned. Osiris' ultimate is called Lord of the Afterlife. Osiris sheds any remaining fragments, gaining the benefit of his passive and leaps forward. Osiris will target the lowest health god in the radius and rip a fragment of their spirit, dealing damage and preventing the target from healing. In this first fight, Osiris comes from the jungle for a gank. Taking down the nearby enemy minions with Hand of the Gods, he quickly takes down Hevo with a Sickle Strike, Spirit Flail, and Judgment Tether combo. In this second fight, Osiris heads toward left lane to avenge his allied Tyr. Missing with Sickle Strike, his Spirit Flail clashes with Shock's Thunder Strike and Torrent combo. Taking down several minions with Hands of the Gods, Osiris carefully activates a Lord of the Afterlife as another Spirit Flail delivers the killing blow. In this final fight, activating Judgment Tether, Osiris dives directly into the team fight. Taking down Kali with basic attacks, he makes up for his earlier miss. A sickle strike on Ulur, and a few basic attacks rack up the kill count. As a Lord of the Afterlife, Judgment Tether and Spirit Flail deliver the Quadra kill. As the broken god of the afterlife, Osiris rises beyond the grave to hunt down all who oppose him. Starting him off with Spirit Flail provides Osiris with an AoE, while also giving him a movement speed buff. Next, picking up Sickle Strike can help Osiris further slow the enemy while delivering additional damage. Spirit Flail's combination with Sickle Strike also further slow the target. From there, the priorities shift to Lord of the Afterlife, Spirit Flail, Judgment Tether, Sickle Strike. Strike. 
Also introduced in this patch is the two-lane siege game mode. As a new feature, teams will earn points towards spawning siege weapons as they play. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Osiris, broken god of the afterlife.